All right, part two of our problem. Um, now we know what the first and second derivatives are. We know what the critical points are. And now we have to classify the critical points. So we have to find this discriminant here. In order to do that, I have to have these three guys, f sub x, x, f sub y, y, and f sub x, y. So here's our f sub x, and let's start working on f sub x, x. So I'll take the derivative of this guy with respect to x. So derivative with respect to x of 7y is 0. So that will be minus 28xy. Derivative of this guy with respect to x, 2x. 2 times 14 is 28. x to the first, y to the first. Derivative of the top times the bottom. Minus the top. Times the derivative of the bottom which we said before, e to the x squared y squared times the derivative of the power with respect to the variable. And remember, y would be considered a constant, so it goes to 0. All divided by e to the x squared plus y squared squared. All right, so if I continue on, um, I can see I can factor out in e to the x squared plus y squared. Now, the reason why I keep focusing on that is because it can cancel with the denominator. So here I get minus 28xy minus, now this 2x has to be distributed in as the x squared, e to the x squared plus y squared gets taken out. So minus 7y times 2x, so minus 14xy, and then plus 28x cubed y. And this all gets multiplied by e to the x squared plus y squared divided by e to the x squared plus y squared squared. The square goes away with that. So in the numerator here, we can actually combine those two, which I believe is 42. So I can rewrite this as minus 42xy plus 28x cubed y divided by e to the x squared plus y squared. That's a two, all right? Now let's do f sub x, y. So I'm going to start here again. Now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to y this time. So moving it up a little bit so everybody can see. So with respect to y, that's going to be 7 minus 14x squared, derivative of the top, times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom. So that's going to be e to the x squared plus y squared, times the derivative of the power with respect to y now, y. So that's 2y. All divided by e to the x squared plus y squared, all squared quotient rule. Now again, simplifying is the key to making this problem work. So I can see an e to the x squared plus y squared everywhere. So I'm going to factor it out and simplify the numerator. So e to the x squared plus y squared taken out. Take it out of this term. I'm left with my, uh, 7 minus 14 x squared. I take it out of this term. I get minus 14 y squared minus 28 x squared, y squared. Make sure my parentheses are right. Divided by e to the x squared plus y squared squared. So one of those goes with one of those. And in the numerator, let's see. It doesn't look like I have anything that is a like term. So I'm going to end up with 7 minus 14x squared minus 14y squared plus 28x squared y squared. So 7 minus 14x squared minus 14y squared minus 28x squared y squared all over just 1 e to the x squared plus y squared. Okay, so I've got three of the four, two of the three that I need. Now I'm going to try f sub y y. So starting with that, come down here and I always write what f sub y was in the first place. 
So looking at my old work, let's see, where is that? Here he is. F sub y, 7x minus 14xy squared divided by e to the x squared plus y squared. Okay. So now f sub y, y, let's see here. Take the derivative of the numerator with respect to y. So that means that's going to be 0, and this will be minus 28xy. Derivative at the top times the bottom. Minus the top. Whoop, 75. Not sure where that comes from. 7x minus 14xy squared times the derivative of the bottom, e to the x squared plus y squared. Now I'm going to take the derivative of this guy with respect to y. So it's going to be 2y. All divided by e to the x squared plus y squared squared. And again, if you're following the pattern, you can see e to the x squared plus y squared is everywhere, so I'm going to take it out. e to the x squared plus y squared, and what's left? Minus 28xy minus, let's distribute the 2, so that's 14xy minus 28xy squared. All over e to the x squared plus y squared squared, and then the two cancels with that guy. So let's see, can anything combine here? Oh yeah, I can combine these two guys, which that looks real familiar, should be minus 42 xy plus 28 xy squared all over e to the x squared plus y squared. All right, now we have all the terms of our discriminant, and now we're gonna go put everything together and put all the ordered pairs in there.